There are multiple things a surgeon must assess and consider prior to any breast augmentation surgery, and they are far too numerous to cover in just one video. However, for simplicity's sake, the three key things you need to understand about the surgery are the implant type and style, the incision or scar location, and the pocket or implant placement. Implants can be silicon or saline. They can also be different shapes. They can be round or teardrop shape, otherwise known as anatomical. The surface of the implants can differ. They can be either textured or rough surfaced or smooth. And the profile of the implant is very important. The profile refers to how far forward the implant projects. They can be either moderate profile, high or extra high, otherwise known as full or extra full. And the consistency of the silicon gel is something else you need to know about. Silicon gel can either be firm or soft. Incision or scar location is the second key thing you need to understand. Most surgeons, including myself, place the incision within your lower breast fold. However, some surgeons may place the incision along your lower areola border and others may place it in your armpit. There are pros and cons with each of these approaches. However, like I said, the lower breast fold incision is the most popular. Pocket placement is the final thing you need to understand. The pocket placement refers to whereabouts the implant is being placed with respect to your chest muscles. Now the implant can go in front of the muscle or under the muscle. However, it's really important to understand that the implant is never completely under the muscle. The lower third or so of the implant is typically below the lower border of that muscle. A dual plane is the next pocket type. And basically it's a variant of the under muscle approach. In fact, every under muscle approach is effectively what's called a dual plane type 1. Now in a dual plane type 2 or more, you are getting less of the implant on the bottom part covered by the muscle. And there are pros and cons with regards to each of these approaches.